I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on relating powers of cosine with double angle. The question here is show that cos to the power of 4 theta equals to 3 over 8 plus half of cos 2 theta plus 1 over 8 cos 4 theta. Now as you can see we are trying to relate cos theta with its double angle. To solve such questions what we need to understand is the relation between cos and double angle, right? So what I will do first is to derive an expression and then use this expression uh, here to solve it, correct? So I'll we'll begin with uh, deriving an expression for the double angle formula, right? So uh, most of you know it, you can skip this part if you know it. Uh, we'll start from the very basic when we say cos A plus B is equal to cos A cos B minus sin A sin B, right? If I write A equals to B, for example, and both equal to theta, for example, then what do I get? I get cos theta plus theta equals to cos theta cos theta minus sin theta sin theta, right? So this is cos 2 theta equals to cos square theta minus sin square theta. Now this is a standard identity which most of you know. However, I've derived so that it helps us to just remember it to solve a similar question which we had. Now since we want to relate cos 2 theta with cos square theta, what we can do is we can write sine square theta as 1 minus cos square theta, correct? And that gives you cos square theta minus 1 plus cos square theta or 2 cos square theta minus 1. Now if you rearrange, if you rearrange, bringing 1 to this side, so we have cos 2 theta on this side, correct? So, so it becomes 2 cos square theta equals to bringing 1 on this side 1 plus cos 2 theta correct and dividing by 2 we get our relation right so that becomes a relation between cos square theta and cos 2 theta right so we'll use this particular relation to prove the question which we have here correct so now let's get back to our question. So let me rewrite the formula which we just now derived and that was cos square theta is equals to 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2, right? So we are going to use this particular formula to prove the identity given in this question, right? So what is cos to the power of 4 theta? So let's begin cos to the power of 4 theta will be written as cos square theta whole square, correct? It could be written as this, cos square theta whole square. Now cos square theta is what I have written here. So I can write this as 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 whole square, correct? Or bringing 2 outside, we get 1 over 4. And here we have 1 plus cos 2 theta whole square. Now we can actually open this bracket. a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. So we could write this as 1 over 4. 1 square, that is 1, plus 2 times a and b, that is cos 2 theta plus square of cos 2 theta, right? So we get cos square 2 theta. Now cos square 2 theta we got again. We can again use this formula and expand it. So we get 1 over 4, 1 plus 2 cos 2 theta plus, so instead of cos square 2 theta, so this is 2 theta now. So if I replace theta with 2 theta, that becomes 4 theta, right? So I could write this as 1 plus 
cos 4 theta divide by 2 correct so that is how I can replace it so divided by 2 so once I have done that I could that is cos square 4 theta now if I open the bracket what do I get 1 over 4 so we get 1 over 4 multiplying 1 by 4 with this plus half of cos 2 theta plus this 4 gets multiplied by 2 so it becomes 8 so I get 1 over 8 here plus 1 over 8 cos 4 theta correct now we can combine 1 over 4 and 1 over 8 so we get 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 to get this term and we already have half of cos 2 theta plus 1 over 8 cos 4 theta taking common denominator as 8 we get 2 plus 1 plus half of cos 2 theta plus 1 over 8 cos 4 theta and that is equal to the right side 3 over 8 plus half cos 2 theta plus 1 over 8 cos 4 theta correct so that is how you could prove this so here's a direct application of our double angle formula in the next video I will take an example where we will use half angle formula right now let's get back to this for a moment so that we prepare ourselves for the next video so in this formula what I could do here is I could also write this formula as let me rewrite this if I do square root right so I could write this as cos theta equals to square root of 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 whenever you do square root you do plus and minus and depending on the quadrant you are in you can choose the sign correct now if I replace theta will half let's say if I write this as cos alpha over 2 right half of the angle then what do I get I get square root 1 plus cos alpha divided by 2 is it okay so the formula is now a half angle formula correct now the question for you is find exact value of cos of minus 15 degrees is it okay so that is a question for you apply this half angle formula to get this answer I hope that helps thanks for watching feel free to write your comments share my videos and if you like that'd be great thank you and all the best